Okay guys, so we're starting off with some Tabata. Now you should know what Tabata is by now, but if somehow you've missed it, it's 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest, eight times high intensity training. Today, the exercise we're gonna be using is the squat. So 20 seconds, as many squats as you can, 10 seconds rest, eight times over. So a total of four minutes, that is all. So let's get started, three, two, one, you're going to squat down. You've done plenty of squats, so your technique should be slightly more honed than it was at the beginning. You're going to squat, shoot those hips back, try and keep that chest up. If you need to, keep the hands out in front. Some people find it much more natural to be front loaded than holding their hands like here. Good rest there. So 10 seconds off. Relatively easy first set, I'd say. Should be getting hard towards set three or four. Right, back into it. So we exhale on up, inhale on down. So we're trying to keep that chest up as best we can. Shoot those hips back. Three, two, one. And that's set two down. Again, I'm going to say relatively okay. Legs aren't beginning to shake just yet. We'll get into set three right now. So one thing to focus on is driving the knees out. A lot of people have problems with when they squat, their knees collapse in. So really try and focus on driving those knees out. Whatever way the toes are pointing is usually the direction the knees should be following. Good, and rest there. So three in, definitely starting to feel it now. Three, two, one. Nice start, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, relax there, we're halfway guys. Hit the halfway mark. I think we're definitely going to start to be feeling some, some blood building up in the legs, maybe some lactic acid if we're, if we're struggling a little bit. Good. These short bursts are really good. We can get a good solid number of reps in. Then we've got that 10 seconds just to move, remove the lactic acid from the legs a little bit. Oh, good stuff. All right, five seconds more rest. Three, two, one. Another set, here we go. So try and keep that chest up, shoulders back. Use those arms for balance if you need to. Keep breathing. 10 more seconds. Nice. Three, two, one. One, good stuff, 10 seconds rest. One more minute of work, so that's two more sets. Five seconds of rest. Here we go. Second to last set. Keeping that chest up, guys. Driving through the heels, pushing those knees out. Five, four, three, Two, one, good. 10 seconds rest now to recover until we attack that final set. Shake out the legs if you need to. Here we go. Last set. Chest up. Drive the glutes through, squeeze them at the top. So hips shoot back at the bottom. Chest stays up. Last 10 seconds before we move on to the next exercise. Three, two, one, good stuff. Okay guys, rest up a little bit whilst I explain the next exercise. The next exercise is a lateral lunge. Now it's a somewhat complex movement, hence why I've waited till video 16 to introduce it. What I want you to do is I want you to place, so split your legs wide apart, you're gonna place your weight over one foot, 
and you're going to bend it. You're going to keep this leg straight. You're just going to keep bending, bending, bending. You're going to have some limitations depending on how flexible your adductors in, adductors are in the other leg. You're going to bend over, bend over, get to your limitation. If you need to, bring the toe up on the other foot and come back. Go back into it, shoot the hips back and up. Right, so what you're going to do is you're going to do 20 seconds per leg. So you're going to do 20 seconds on your left leg. You're going to do 20 seconds as many as you can on your right leg. Then you're going to switch back immediately to the left and switch back to the right. We've already got two sets of this just because it is such a complex movement. If some of you don't get it, that's fine. Try your best. That's all we can ask. So we're going to start off on our left legs if we all can. So try it out. Feet wide apart, place all the weight on one foot, move, bend that leg, drive through the glute, through the glutes. Right, so 20 seconds on, the clock in three, two, one, here we go. So bend down and return to the center. Bend down, it's easy to let your chest fall over. But that's what we want to avoid. So try and keep that chest upright if you can. So I've got quite tight adductors. So switch legs. I've got quite tight adductors. So it's really restricting my range of movement on this motion. Tricky balance. Good, change back. Like I say, this is the last set here, so it's gone pretty quickly. I'm just trying to introduce you to a new movement, get a new stimulus that might make you a little bit sore tomorrow. And gradually over time, you can work on this. If you think, oh, I actually really like that exercise, you can try it at home. Good. Last one on this side. Driving through the heel. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff and relax there. So, you should have felt the adductors sort of loosen up as the exercise went on. You might have begin to began to fatigue, but essentially that was just a resting exercise, sort of just a new exercise, like I say, like I mentioned before. So now, I've got another bit of Tabata for you. This time, there's no rest though. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna do star jumps. So star jumps for 20 seconds. Regular star jumps, nothing special. 20 seconds on, on the star jumps. Then on your 10 seconds off, what I want you to do is a squat hold. So it's gonna be star jumps, 20 seconds. Then you're gonna squat hold for 10. Star jump for 20, squat hold for 10. You're gonna repeat that for eight rounds because it's Tabata, it's gonna take you four minutes, guys. This is the last bit, so push through and dig deep. All right, here we go. First 20 seconds on the clock, starting off with star jumps in three, two, one, here we go. So nice and bouncy, nice and light on the toes, getting that heart rate up. Using those arms. Good, 10 seconds down already. It's so surprising how quickly the time goes during Tabata circuits. Good, into that squat hold now, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Straight into those starting blocks. So that's round one down. Seven more to go. Make sure you appreciate how much easier the star jumps are than the squat hold. Three, two, one, squat hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and star jumps. Here we go. Ten more seconds. This is 
difficult, this is definitely not easy. Like any stretch of your imagination. Three, two, one, squat hold. Some of you might find it easier to do a sumo squat hold. So that is a wider stance, toes pointed out. This might be a more comfortable resting position for you. Good, and star jumps. Yeah, so if you're struggling to stay upright, and you sort of begin to sink down and think you can't handle it anymore, try a sumo. You might find it more stable. Good, squat hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Here we go, we're halfway. Before you even knew it. So keep breathing. Getting that heart rate up. That breathing's gonna start to become heavy. Squat hold. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up. Really easy to start coming on the toes for the squat hold. I really want you to try and keep all your weight on your heels. That way you're gonna recruit the glute more, which is more powerful. It's gonna make you, A, make it easier for you, and B, recruit the muscles more, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Last minute. Last two rounds. Keep going. You're doing really well. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Squat hold. Keep breathing whilst you're in this squat hold. Don't just hold your breath for 10 seconds. Two, one, come out. Last bit, last round. Here we go, lads. Legs are definitely starting to get a bit sore. I want you to stick with it. You will be able to get through. Three, two, one. We got a squat hold to finish. Here we go, here we go, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest there guys, good stuff. Woo. Legs are definitely in pain, really good job if you finish that. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And we'll see you all again tomorrow for day 17.